Hi, my name is Song. I'm an application engineer here at Simon. This is a quick video on how to use PLCS thermocouple, also called SPO4 ETO, which directly connects eight types of thermocouples and converts the temperature data into signed 14-bit binary data for digital value. For today's tutorial, I'm using J-type uh, thermocouple. As you can see in the photo, I have the PLCS CPU located at slot 0, and I have the SPO4 ETO, the TC module, uh, wired with J-type using the channel 1 and located at slot number 1. So let us go ahead and open up Cycon 6.10. It is the latest version available on our website. And I'm going to open up the, the CM3SPO4 ETO sample project, which you can download it from our hump, uh, website. You go to Simon, Simon, and then go to support, go to project examples. And then there's the CM3SO4 ETO, the thermocouple um, sample project available. So I have opened up the project and I'm going to make the connection through USB cable. I have the PLCS with the firmware 6.110. And I'm going to set up the TC module. When you first open up, it will be the default will be on disable mode. mode. So this is what you what you initially have. So since I'm using the channel one, I'm going to double click the channel 1 and it is located my my TC module is located on uh, local local base since this is CM3 and it is located next to CPU so it makes it the slot number 1 and then I've double clicked the channel 1 and I select my TC type it is available from K JET, RSBN, the A types, and for today's tutorial, I'm using the J type. And you can set up the digital value range, and today I'm going to stick with the default here. And I click OK. You can leave the rest of it. Um, it those are though, uh, these configurations are not necessary. So I go ahead and click OK. And then make sure that after you configure the channel 1, make sure you click the right button to save the data to PLC. Otherwise, the configurations will not be applied to the TC module. So now you have the channel 1 uh, ready. Uh, you click on status. And then as you can see that it is reading 27 uh, Celsius uh, this is uh, the room temperature right now and if I grab if I grab the thermocouple with my hands in my fist then you can see that the temperature is increasing by the heat generated by my hand and just to uh, ex just to tell you a little bit about the sample sample program here, uh, as you can see that the uh, it tells you the uh, slot number uh, of the CPU, the slot number for the SP ETO. Uh, this is just a basic setup. If you have it located at different module, go ahead and change it. And on thermocouple is J type. 
um, and channel that I'm using is to channel one. So the first line shows I'm shows that the I'm using the from command to 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 read the the data the channel one temperature temperature data and it is according to the the buffer memory so I go to help and then I click on CM3 I go to SPO4 ETO I click on buffer memory over here and it tells me that the decimal number one is to bring the data of the channel one temperature temperature detection value in Celsius so as you can see um, the from command I'm reading the data from the first module the slot number one and I'm reading the buffer memory one which is the channel one this value the channel one temperature detection value two and I'm going to read that value and save it at D0 so right now if I click on online and then I go to memory monitor and I go to D0 then you can see that my temperature value is over here and and this uh, the last uh, number signifies how many channels you you want to read so right now I'm reading just channel one so let's say this is right now I'm I'm reading the channel one temperature value in Celsius if you want to read it in Fahrenheit then what you can do is refer to the help documentation the buffer memory says it is the 11 in cells in Fahrenheit so I go ahead and then I click on online edit I double click the from command all I need to do is to change change this number to 11 which will bring the data and display it in Fahrenheit so if I click on the status over here you can see that the temperature the 30 30.6 Celsius is displayed when converted to Fahrenheit is 86.9 and you, and notice that um, the temperature value is displayed um, the first digit times 10 in the in the letter program here so 86.5 times 10 will be 865 so it is reading this uh, this value in Fahrenheit and if I go ahead and change it back to the Celsius it is now again showing the value in Celsius click on status and you can see my room temperature is 30 and it is 300 here so the fourth the fourth line of here uh, what I what I have configured is that my program tells me that if I have the temperature value from channel 1 and if the channel 1 temperature value is greater than minus 100 Celsius or less or equal to plus 100 Celsius it will turn on the Y00 as it, as it should and if I have that value the temperature channel 1 value greater than 100 Celsius and it's less than 300 
then it will turn on Y01. So if let's say if I had the heat gun and it is blowing the heat into the thermo thermocouple, the J type, and exceed the temperature of uh, 150, let's say, then it will turn on the Y01. But since our temperature now for room temperature is 33 Celsius, so it is uh, turning on the Y00. So this is pretty much the end of a quick video on how to use PLCS TC module as PO4 ETO. You have the sample project um, available in our website. You have the manual and now you have the quick video on how to use this TC module as PO4 ETO. Thank you for watching.